I heartily welcome you all for this auspicious evening of Kumari Harshita's first Bharatanatyam recital, a culmination of years of determination, passion, and untiring efforts. I take the privilege to welcome our chief guest, Vidwan Shri Chetan Gangatkar and Vidushi Srimati Chandra Prabha Chetan, artistic directors of Natya Ninada Nrityalaya, Shri Subhash Govindarajan, Senior Director Google, Srimati Mahalakshmi Kumar, Principal Padma Sheshadri Balabhavan, Learning Leadership Academy, Bangalore. And I also welcome Srimati Jayashri Sundaram, Vice Principal, PSBB LLA. It is our great privilege to have Sri Surya Prasad sir amongst us, who is a very well-renowned art critic. It is indeed a great honor to have such great achievers from a wide range of fields. Kumari Harshita is blessed to have here to witness her Arangetram. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, sir. I also welcome all the guests, ladies, gentlemen, and dear children present here today. Without the prekshaka, the audience, any performing art would become void of its essence. So each and every one of you becomes a vital aspect in today's recital. Thank you for being present with us. With the blessing of all devas and devatas, we begin our function on the auspicious note of lighting of the lamp. I request our esteemed chief guest to please come and light the lamp. Deepa Hachuvaga Sabhege Belaku Mattu Devarige Samarpane Koduva Undu Sandarba Idan Nunavu Bhakti Pura Kavagi Madonna Dayavittu Bani Deepa Hachuna. May I request all the chief guests? to please come on to the dais for lighting the lamp. I also request the musicians to please join us on stage for lighting of the lamp.
I request, uh, kindly request our chief guest to have a seat and watch the program from Meetram of Arshika. I heartily welcome the orchestra for today's evening. Great stalwarts accompany us today. On the vocal, we have Sri Rohit Bhatt Upur, Bridangam by Sri Harsha Samaga Malpe, on the violin, Karnataka Kala Shri Vidwan Dr. Nataraj Murthy. Flute by Shri Vivek V. Krishna. On the rhythm pads, Shri Dhanush. And Nattuvangam by Shrimati Meghna Venkat. Welcome, sir. Welcome, ma'am. Harshita would like to take blessings from her grandparents, requesting grandparents to please bless the grandchild on the special occasion. Please sit back and enjoy the salutations offered by our musicians to remove all obstacles for a great program ahead. Ja 
Gedje is a significant element of an Arangetram because its melodious sound elevates us on our spiritual journey. This is why we find bells in the temples as well. The disciple receives the same from the Guru as a blessing to continue on their spiritual journey through dance. Kumari Harshita will begin today's recital with the male prapti, the invocatory pieces, beginning with a Todiya Mangalam, <coughs> Pushpanjali, and followed by Alaripu. Todiya Mangalam and Pushpanjali is offering of flowers to God, stage, and Guru. Every day, we offer flowers to God through prayers, that is, Mantra Pushpa. If we offer through music, it is Kriti or Bhajan. When we offer through dance, it is called Pushpanjali. Continuing with an Alaripu, where the movements of Alaripu relax the dancer's body and thereby her mind, coordinate her limbs and prepare for the dance. Rhythm has a rare capacity to concentrate. Alaripu is most valuable in freeing the dancer from distraction and making her single-minded. The Alaripu Harshita will be presenting is unique and difficult since it is embedded with two different talas at the same time. The Alaripu is in Khanda and Trisha combination. It is hence structured like this. Takka, takkitta, takka, takkitta, takkitta, takkitta. It is a composition of Sri Adyar K. Lakshman. Kumari Harshita will now present Mail Prapti.
தகதாம் தம் 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 திம் 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 தக தோடங்க தக்குதாம்
When I announced that Harshita has scored extremely well in her first exam to become a dancer, having good grip and good anger shuddhi, I'm sure you'll all agree with me. Harshita will continue with a Natesha Navakam. But in the meanwhile, I would like to introduce to you our vocal artist for the evening, Sri Rohit Bhatt Uppur. A Bachelor of Commerce graduate and pursuing Chartered Accountancy, who has many years of experience in the field of finance. A Vidwat in Carnatic classical music, having an experience of 21 years. He is an employee. He is an employee of Subramanyam Academy of Performing Arts, SAPA, working as a music educator in National Public School, Indranagar. A music composer owning a unique knack of blending different genres of music in the compositions. He has learned Carnatic music from the age of eight. He has undergone training from Vidushi Shobha Sharma, <coughs> Vidwan M.G. Venkata Raghavan, and at present, the mentor and tutor being Vidwan Bangalore S. Shankar and Sri Abhijit Shanoi. He has also learned light music under Vidushi Pallavi Arun and Sri Yashwan Thalibandi, who are a guiding force and a source of inspiration. Late Sri A.S. Murti, Sri A.M. Prakash, and Sri Praveen D. Rao. Rohit is a playback singer and has rendered voice for commercial movies, namely Manoratha, Made in Bengaluru Arya's Love, Rama Rama Re. Sarkari Hiriya Prathamika Shale, Badwa Raskal, etc. He has rendered voice for a title track of a mega tele series, Triveni Sangama, Mituna Rashi, Murtu Gantu, etc. He has rendered voice for all the songs of the mega tele serial, Dasa Purandara. He has also rendered voice for various jingles and musical promos for Radio Mirchi 98.3. He has been giving concerts in Tirumala Tirupati for Sahasra Deepa Alankara Seve as a part of Dasa Sahitya project conducted by Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanams. He has composed music and has sung for various dance productions. He has delivered vocal support for many Bharatanatyam performances across India and abroad for prestigious dance festivals like Madras Music Academy, Nisha Gandhi Festival Trivandrum, Natya Tarangini Delhi, Gudia Sambharama, Sri Shankara Kaladi, Sampradaya Academy of Performing Arts Canada. He has given concerts in esteemed platforms like Indian Institute of World Culture, Chinmaya Mission Bombay, Harihara Gudda, Sangeeta Parishad, Meduvale Theatre Canada, and many more. He has received Ananya Award in the competition held by Hanumanta Nagar. He was a runner-up in Chilpili Antakshari, conducted by ETV Kannada. He has also received the gold medal in Swarna Madhurya, conducted by Chandana Channel. He has learned theatre skills from Hanumanta Nagar Bimba under the able guidance of Sri A.S. Murthy and Sri A.M. Prakash. He has also acted in two major movies, Musanje and Pravaha. He backed the Karnataka State Award as a best child artist for the movie Musanje. Thank you for being here with us, sir. It is our privilege to have you here for this evening's recital.
As we proceed further through the program, we shall introduce to you about other artists who are outstanding in their fields. We are blessed to have them here with us today. Harshita will continue her recital with a Natesha Navakam, which is a rare composition on Bhagavan Nataraja of Chidambaram. For receiving the darshan of Nataraja's cosmic dance, Patanjali Muni performed penance for a number of years. Nataraja performed the dance in the presence of Vyagrapada and Patanjali at Chidambaram. When Patanjali saw this dance, he recited a Navakam in praise of Thillai Sabhanayagan. In fact, this is the only description. This is the only description of the dance that is found in our scriptures. Such is the uniqueness of this composition. Harshita will portray the four elements of Shiva in the four charanams that she, that she will be presenting today. Starting with Kunchitapadam, the leg which is lifted up, representing the true consciousness. Secondly, fire the Agni representing the destruction. Third element is the portrayal of leg which stands on the dwarf evil, Muyalagan representing the removal of ignorance. And finally, the Damaru representing the creation. Each one of the elements signifies an activity of the universe. Natesha Navakam is a composition of Sri Patanjali Muni portraying the dance of Bhagavan Nataraja. The music is tuned by Sri Rohit Bhatt and Jatis are set by Sri Harsha Samaga and dance choreography by Srimati Meghna Venkat. I would like to take you through the journey of Harshita leading to this day. <coughs> Kumari Harshita has been learning Bharatanatyam <coughs> under Guru Srimati Meghna Venkat in her school Ritya Nadham Vidyalaya for the past nine years. She has also been learning Karnatic vocal and Veena for six years under the guidance of Guru Shri Mati Rani Nistala. In her training tenure at Ritya Nadam, she has learned invaluable life lessons and flourished under the direction of her Guru, Shri Mati Meghna Venkat. Untiring and rigorous training methods of her Guru has shaped Harshita's competence and skill bringing out her full potential. Harshita has participated in the Nataraja Temple Chidambaram Dance Festival, which has featured in Guinness Book of World Records. She has performed in Eluro Dance Festival, Vijayawada, and has been awarded the Narthana Bala Award in 2022. Harshita has secured the state rank with distinction in the Karnataka State Junior Great Bharatanatyam exam in 2021. Currently, she is in ninth grade studying in PSBB LLA school. Under the leadership of Principal Srimati Mahalak Under the leadership of Principal Srimati Mahalakshmi Kumar and support from her teachers, Hashita is always on the top of her studies and participates both in cultural and technical activities. She is dear to her teacher and she is also bright in her academics. Learning classical dance has taught her the essential life skills of discipline, patience and determination apart from being rooted to the Indian culture and values. Oh 
That was really a beautiful performance, Harshita. <coughs> I would like to introduce to you the Mridangist of today's evening, Sri Harsha Samaga. He is son of Srimati and Sri M. Lakshmi Narayana Samaga from the well-known Samaga family in Udipi district, Karnataka. Samaga family is a synonym for the great rich theatre form of coastal Karnataka, Yakshagana. Harsh, 
Harsha has been performing as a mridangam artist for over 30 years. He secured his initial training from late P. Vasudeva Rao of Udupi and further he continued under the tutelage of renowned guru late Sri K. Harich Harish Chandran, retired All India Radio artist Mangalore. He has further received training and guidance from Guru Anur Ananta Krishna Sharma, Bangalore. Harsha secured second and first rank in the state level junior and senior examination conducted for Tala Vadya Mridangam by the government of Karnataka and is an All India Radio graded artist. Harsha has travelled to UK, France, Singapore, Mexico and Sri Lanka for performances. Harsha is a recipient of Ananya Pratibhe Award. He has been accompanying Mridangam for well-known Bharatnatyam artists and for Carnatic music concerts in various sabhas in Bangalore and various parts of the country. Harsha is a chartered accountant by profession and is working as a director finance in an MNC in Bangalore. Thank you, sir, for being with us today. It is indeed an honor to have you in our presence. Thank you so much. Harshita will continue her recital with a Devar Nama. Devar Nama is special to Karnataka, where in the Dasa Sahitya is termed as Devar Nama. Harshita will perform the song Ranga Baro Rangaya Baro, composed by Sri Purandhara Dasa, portraying the beauty of Sri Krishna. The dance portrays a devotee visiting the temple to perform her daily prayers. But to her astonishment, she finds the vigraha or the deity missing in the temple sanctorium. She searches everywhere and finally finds Krishna playing his naughty pranks. She lures him with her golden ring and praises him for having been studded with numerous gems. At this point, the song takes us to the description of Krishna, who is equal to Manikya, Vaidurya, Vajra, and many more gems. In the mellifluous composition of Muddugare Yashoda by Sri Annamacharya. As we return back to the first song, Rangabaro, we find the devotee complimenting him further with different types of gait. Krishna walking majestically as an elephant, as a graceful swan, as a deer or a peacock or just the naughty little Krishna. She pleads with him to return to the temple and finally makes him stand in the temple sanctorium just like how Yashoda would have done. Rangabaro is in Kalyani Ragam composed by Sri Purandhara Dasa and Muddugare Yashoda is in Kurinji Ragam composed by Sri Annamacharya and has been choreographed by Srimati Meghna Venkat. One can find that the song doesn't have any sanchari or story explanations, but rather the words are elaborated through dance.
for me to introduce to you the violinist for today, Sri Natrachamurthy Sisla. Dr. Sri Natrachamurthy Sisla has been trained in violin by Guru Padma Sri Annavarapu Ramaswamy and an okal from his father, Sankita Bhushana, S.S. Rajashekaran. He has received various awards like Karnataka Kala Shri from Government of Karnataka, Artist of the Year in 2008 from Bangalore Ga Gayana Samaja, Nada Chintamani, Chintamani Gayana Samaja. He has played solo violin programs at Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Sri Harikota, Chennai, Damstam, Germany. He has accompanied stalwarts like Padma Pushan, Srimati Sutta Rakunathan, Dr. Ramani, Dr. R. S. Ramanathan, Maharajapuram Santhanam, and others at various concert stages. He has accompanied in various dance performances for Padma Pushan Alarmel Valli, Padmini Ramachandran, many other noted dancers. He has traveled abroad under ICCR trips to Mediterranean countries led by Vijayanti Kashi. He has trained many students, notable being Shiranjeevi Krutik Kaushik and his daughter Chandana Bala Kalyan. He has also authored a book, Classical Dancers and Supporters of My Time in the year 2014. It is important to specifically mention that Dr. S. Natraja Murthy is a former scientist of ISRO with a PhD in from IIT Delhi, 1988. <laughs> Incidentally, he has also done a basic preliminary online course in astrology to know what our ancient rishis thought of Navagrahas from Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan from July 2022 to Jan 2023. Thank you, sir, for being here with us today. We are indeed blessed. On the flute, we have Vidwan Sri Vivek. Strong blowing techniques and creativity have been much appreciated by the connoisseurs and critics alike. Vivek is fortunate to have had training under the tutelage of eminent gurus like Vidwan H.S. Venu Gopal and Neveli S. Sandhana Gopalan. Having two decades experience in the field of music, he has been extensively performing as a solo performer and a recording artist with many prestigious organizations. He has made an impact in the field of dance too and is in demand as a flautist for Bharatanatyam performances world over. He, he has the credit of having rendered flute support to many top classical Bharatanatyam artists like Vaijanti Mala, Shobana, Leela Samson, KJ Sarasa, Priyadarshini Govind, Alarmel Valli, Kalyana Sundaram Pillai and reputed musicians like Rajkumar Bharati, TM Krishna, Bombay Jayashri, OS Arun, to name a few. He has extensively traveled all over USA, Canada, Singapore, Malaysia, Muscat, Japan, Fiji Islands, Europe, and other countries regularly rendering support both to aspiring young dancers as well as established artists. In recognition to his talent, he has been awarded Kala Vatamsa from Gokulam School of Music, Bangalore, Yuva Purashkar from Ananya Nata Jyoti Sankita Shabha, Bangalore, and Kala Yogi from Artists Association. He, with his dancer wife, Aranya Narain, are well known for their unique presentation, Flute and Feet, which is an innovative and harmonious fusion of music and dance, which blends two popular classical art forms of India, Bharatanatyam Karnatic music, flute music. Each performance is tailored with well-known compositions from Carnatic music and authentic Kalakshatra Bani. Their vision and goal as responsible artists in the field of music and dance is to perform and impact this divine art in its purest form devoid of glamour and gimmicks. In the Flute and Feet Academy Bangalore, students learn Bharatanatyam and Kalakshatra Bani and Carnatic flute lessons. Thank you, sir, for, for your presence here. We are truly honoured. Harshita will continue with the Varnam, which serves as the foundation of Bharatanatyam Margam. To understand the complexity inscribed in the Varnam, one must pay attention to its detail. It is challenging for the dancers to flip over so quickly since the Adavus or the Jatis are altered with lyrics or Sahitya. Harshita will perform a Varnam in praise of Minakshi Devi. This song elaborates the nine emotions 
or the Navarasa through the eyes of Devi or Ambal. Her valor or Veera Rasa is portrayed when Meenakshi fights a war at Madurai. Harshita will describe how Meenakshi, a princess, meets Bhavan Sundareshwarar during the war and marries him. The wonder or the Adbhuta Rasa is depicted in the story of Shiva Parvati Kalyanam, where Manmata is burned to ashes, and in another story of Markandeya, where Shiva blesses the young boy chasing the king of death, Yama by kicking him with his legs. Hasya Rasa is portrayed when she laughs at Shiva while he is asked to carry the weight of sand by the king of Tanjore. The Charanam of the Varnam is the des description of Bhakti and surrender to Devi. Harshita depicts the story of Dakshayagna in the Charanam. The story goes like this. When Shiva and Parvati are not invited to the Yagna, Dakshayani feels disdain for her father. Daksha. She burns herself during the yagna, greatly infuriating Shiva. Shiva cuts off Daksha's head. Thereafter, Daksha Raja repents his error and begs for pardon. Shiva then gives him life by placing the head of a goat for Daksha. And the king then praises Bhagwan Shiva by singing Namakam Chamakam. The fear of Bhayankarasha is portrayed through the story of Ravana shaking the Kailasha mountain during his penance. The Shantarasa is finally portrayed with an embodiment of the Devi herself. Angayar Kannivarnam in Raha Malika said to Adi Thalam, a composition of Sri Lalgudi Jayaraman. The Jatis of this Varnam are said by Sri Hemant Lakshman of Kerala. The dance is choreographed by Srimati Meghna Venkat, inspired by the choreography of Sri Shankar Kantaswami. Tak kita tak. 
अद्भुत अद्भुत अद्भुत
That was an enriching ha first half of the program. I am sure everybody was on the edge of their seats during the whole of Varnam. Truly a breathtaking performance and equally remarkable choreography. Thank you, Harshita, and the entire team. Before we proceed with the second half of the recitation, I take this opportunity to invite the esteemed chief guest to the dais. Please, ma'am, please, sir, please come on to the dais. Thank you. Shri Chetan and Srimati Chandraprabha are the dancing couple. They are internationally reputed dancers, choreographers, teachers, and academicians. Shri Chetan Gangatkar nurtured an interest in classical dance from his childhood. He started learning Bharatanatyam under Guru Dr. Sanjay Shantaram, and he later furthered his training under Karnataka Kala Shri Guru Dr. Suparna Venkatesh. Chetan is also trained in Kuchipudi under Guru Srimati Veena Murthy Vijay, Guru Vedantam Ramu, and Devalaya Aradhana Nrityam, temple ritual dance from Guru Srimati Voleti Rangamani, daughter of legendary Kuchipudi Guru Sri C.R. Acharya. His interest in the art form led him to opt for this divine platform as his profession. He completed his graduation in choreography from Natya Institute of Kathak and Choreography, headed by Guru Dr. Maya Rao. During his graduation at the Natya Institute, he was exposed to various dance forms such as Kathak, Yakshagana, several folk dance traditions of India, including martial arts, which brought a brilliance to his talent. He then completed post-graduation in Bharatanatyam from the Bangalore University and is now pursuing PhD from Mysore University. Chetan is a graded artist from Doordarshan Kendra, having been featured in many dance dramas and dance programs for Doordarshan. Chetan has worked as a secretary of Karnataka Nitya Kala Parishad for six years. He has been honored with several awards and titles such as Nitya Nipuna, Natya Kaumudhi, Bharata Shri, to name a few. Srimati Chandra Prabha Chetan, the better half, started learning Bharatanatyam at the tender age of three from Karnataka Kala Shri Guru Srimati Manjula Paramesh. She is also trained in Kuchipudi under Guru Srimati Veena Murthy Vijay, Guru Vedanta Ramu, and Devale Aradhana Nrityam from Guru Srimati Voleti Rangamani. She is a graduate in microbiology and masters in Bharatanatyam from Bangalore University. She is a recipient of state and central scholarship for dance and Natuvangam from Nritya Academy. She is an empaneled artist in ICCR. She is also a graded artist of Doordarshan Kendra. She has been honored with several awards and titles like Arya Bhatta, Natya Mayuri, Natya Saraswati to name a few. Chetan and Chandra have travelled extensively by performing Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi in major dance festivals in India and abroad. They have performed at Mysore Dasara, Hampi Utsava, Chalukya Utsava, Kadambotsava, Bengaluru Habba, Ananya Nitya Ullasa, Alvas Nudisidi, Music and Dance Festival Andaman Island, Voice of the World Youth Festival conducted in Chingru, China, Festival of Indian Classical Dance, Beijing, Beyond Borders, Singapore. Chetan and Chandraprabha are amongst very few dancers in India who perform temple ritual dances like Simhanandini, sketching a lion with footwork on a canvas while dancing, Mayura Kautvam, sketching a peacock, Purva Ranga Vidhi, Ashtadikpalaka Puja, as mentioned in the Agamas, which was performed in the temples by the Devadasis. Perini, dancing on inverted mud pot. They have established a school, Natya Ninada Nrityalaya, which trains students in Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi. The institute is 17 years old, which is situated in Hebbal. 25 students have completed their Ranga Pravesha, have appeared in dance, dance exam scoring commendable marks from KSEEB and secured scholarship from Karnataka Sangeeta Nitya Academy. From a purely performance-oriented entity, Natya Ninada Nrityalaya has evolved into a multifaceted dance company, which has to its credit more than 1,000 shows. 
Chetan and Chandraprabha have choreographed many dance productions featuring an extraordinary range of creative expressions, which has won the heart of art connoisseurs and press. To name a few, Navarasa Krishna, Dashavatara, Nat Anand Nataraja, Prahalna Jatsaritra, Shri Krishna Tulabhara, Karnataka Vaibhava. I call upon Kumari Harshita along with her parents to please felicitate our chief guest. Sanchi Dhyuti and Vaivasvita, please help the felicitation. Sri Subhash Govind Rajan is a global leader in the area of silicon development and technology having extensive experience in leading worldwide R&D teams from concept to product ramp with a track record of delivering strong business results, technology innovations and organization development. Sri Subhash is an alumnus of prestigious Indian Institute of Science Subhash holds nine U.S. patents and authored over a dozen publications in the refereed international conference. Sri Subhash is a senior director and silicon site head at Google Bangalore. Previous to this, he had a long tenure with Texas Instruments and served as vice president engineering. Sri Subhash is passionate about Tamil literature and is an active speaker in various Tamil literary forums. He has authored more than 150 poetries. In recognition of his literary contributions, Tumbi Tamil Media has awarded him Tumbi Tamil Ilakiya Tilagam Award. Sri Subhash Govindarajan hails from a richly cultured and traditional family from Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu. He married Sarojini Priyadarshani and has a teenage son Anish. Sir, please accept our small token of gratitude, inviting Harshita and her parents Tanishka and Aradhana, please help the felicitation. Srimati Mahalakshmi Kumar is the principal of PSBB Learning Leadership Academy, Bangalore. She is a double postgraduate in English and Education from the Madras University. She has four decades of rich experience in the field of education. Being the founder of founder principal, she has been heading PSBB LLA for the last 15 years. She also teaches English for senior secondary and enjoys interacting with young students. Srimati Mahalakshmi took to teaching English at a young age at Padma Sheshadri Bala Bhavan, Chennai under the leadership of Dr. Mrs. Y.G. Parthasarthi. She was easily able to sync with the culture and tradition of PSBB, particularly giving emphasis to fine arts. Her exposure to both classical music and dance right from her childhood gave her skill and opportunities to choreograph and direct various stage performances for people. PSBB. Hailing from a defense background, she has traveled the length and breadth of the country and worked in several prestigious institutions teaching English to high school students in both CBSC and ICSC boards. She has contributed immensely to cultural shows wherever she has worked. She has also traveled widely across the globe and has participated in many educational and cultural programs in many countries. She has a formal training in Bharatanatyam. She has always encouraged her students to pursue their interest in dance. She believes that dance is the language of the soul. A connoisseur of arts, she always hosts cultural programs organized by Spik Meke in her school. She makes sure 
artists visit her school for cultural annual days conducted by the school. Srimati Mahalakshmi has also found time to pursue her other interest in reading, travel, cooking and sports. I call upon Harshita along with her parents to please honor ma'am. Shriha and Sahiti, please help the felicitation. I request Harshita's Veena teacher, Srimati Rani Nisala, to please come forward and accept our token of love and gratitude. Please, ma'am. Srimati Rani Nisala is, a certi is certified in Veena from Telugu University, Hyderabad. She continues to teach students maths, music, and Telugu. She's a topper in academic. I request Sri Surya Prasad ji to please come on to the stage and accept uh, our small gratitude. Okay. Okay. I take this opportunity to introduce to you Guru Srimati Meghna Venkat. Meghna Venkat is a Bharatanatyam artist trained in Kalakshitra style under the tutelage of several gurus. She has also been mentored in the basics of Kathak, Kuchipudi and Odissi owing to her interest in classical dance. She is an empaneled artist of the Ministry of Culture, Government of India. She is a graded artist of Doordarshan. She has been selected for lecturership under UGC NET Central Government Examination. She is a recipient of several awards like Natya Semal, Nritya Kaumudi, Nritya Shiromani, Mayura Ratna, Nritya Bharati to mention a few. She is currently pursuing a dog trait in dance. She conducts a biennial festival named IKM. IKM is an international thematic dance festival and has gained popularity in just two years since its inception. She has also conducted an online arts initiative named Bridge the Gap Initiative during the first wave of the pandemic, which was, which was a pioneer of its kind, show, showcasing online art festivals. Through this initiative, she was able to collect nearly 2 lakhs and donate the entire amount to artists who were in need of financial support. She has established Nrityanadam Vidhyalaya. This school has around 100 students getting trained in dance, Natvangam, Karnatic vocal, Bhavagita and yoga. Under the IKM establishment, she provides scholarships to 15 underprivileged school children for their academics and also trains them in dance. She has been honored with the Women Empowerment Award for the upliftment of girl children. As a part of the curriculum, Nitya Nadam grades the students by conducting annual examinations. The school has been represented on several occasions and venues in India and has also sent students to Karnataka government Gandharva Annamalai University examinations. Nine years through her career as a performer, she has rendered performances in several prestigious festivals and has staged shows in India and abroad which may include, which includes Uday Shankar Festival, Trinity Arts, Kala Rasana, Chennai Music Season, Hampi Utsav, Kadamba Utsav, Ananya Festival Delhi, Katak Mahotsav. She was part of Padme production by Anita Ratnam and was part of Amita Bachchan's birthday celebrations. She has also performed in Shivaratri festivals in Kumbakonam, Tanjaur, Chidambaram, Nada Nirajanam at Tirumala to name a few. She has represented India in Norway for celebrations of the 70th independence of India. She has also rendered performances in Australia, Malaysia and USA and has also conducted workshops in those countries. She has authored a book titled Theory of Classical Dance and has also written articles for Ananya Magazine, Shruti Magazine and various other publications. 
She has given a lecture demonstration on Dr. Subramanian Swami's channel, Virat Hindustan Sangam, Karnataka chapter. Her inquisitiveness and creativity paves way for researching on several topics. A dynamic person who is good at sports, she is a district player in badminton and still continues to play in tournaments. A district topper in academics and is acquainted in other fine arts. She is a homemaker and happily married with Shri Gokul Krishnan. They have a child Rishikesh who keeps her busy, just like all children who know to keep their mothers always on toes. Thank you, ma'am, for being there with all, us all. Harshita's parents would like to felicitate Meghna, ma'am. I now invite Harshita and her parents to felicitate the musicians for this evening. Please join your hands for the scintillating voice of Sri Rohit Bhatt Uppur. Brilliant Mridangam by Shri Harsha Samaga Malpe. On the violin, simple person yet highly dexterous, Sri Dr. Nataraj Murthy. Melodious and divine sound of flute by Sri Vivek V. Krishna. Fantastic timing and exceptional rhythm pads by Sri Dhanush. Thank you so much, sir and ma'am. I take this opportunity to appreciate the backstage support we have today. If not for them, the show would not have been possible. I now request Shri Kartikeyan and Srimati Chitra to present our appreciation to all the artists who work behind the stage and run the show. The beautiful and attractive auditorium and stage decoration by Srimati Ashwini. Without the video and photo, we will not be able to cherish this in future. Videography by Sampath Kumar from Temple Sounds. <laughs> Photography by Madhusudan from Temple Sounds. He 
has made our dear Harshita more royal and charming, the makeup artist Sri Ilangovan. Nothing ever looks right and beautiful without the light and sound. We have Sri Surya in Rao, who is supporting us so efficiently. <laughs> Sri Raghu for the impeccable sounds. The attractive invitation card which, which has brought you all here is designed by Sri Prashant Vitla and Harshita's costume was designed and stitched at the world-renowned Ayelu costumes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Sri Chetan Gangadkar and Sri Mati Chandraprabha Chetan to please speak a few words. Sri Guru Bion Namaha. If I say it was a wonderful evening, all of you would agree. Indian classical arts, especially Bharatanatyam, brings so much of confidence in a child. A child who is studying ninth standard has proved herself so well in the first half of her Ranga Pravesha. From the beginning, as she entered the stage, we could make out that divine child who is made to be only a dancer. All of you can be more <laughs> loud to agree with me. It is said that Everybody cannot be an artist. They are chosen and handpicked by the Lord Himself to do the seva of Nritya or Sangeeta as an Aradhana to the Divine Himself. From the Pushpanjali, to the Varnam, nothing was a cakewalk, all of you agree. The Varnam was almost 40 minutes. <laughs> and Guru Srimati Megana had not simplified anything just because seeing the girl is young. Everything was much complicated but delivered so easily and it was a treat to the eyes. As I said, these classical arts just do not give confidence in the child but speaks volumes of the heritage of the country which we come from. It is just an initial training what our Samskriti is and the parents of Harshita have initiated her into such a divine art form with which along her education in dance is also letting her know the Sanatana Dharma of this wonderful nation. Every parent who is a part of this dance school, I think, agree to me. Just as a parent, you would have thought that your child should involve in one activity apart from schooling and you would have just involved her in dance school. But knowingly or unknowingly, the child is been learning so much. These children who have learnt dance, music, yoga and other Indian art form 
can withstand any amount of struggle or any amount of hardship in their life because they would have gone through everything while learning this beautiful art only the teacher or the guru knows how difficult it is to get a student to the stage and perform with such ease as rasikas you might all come here and sit and watch the child perform and say wow it was wonderful but for this day along with the student the teacher also would have dreamt <laughs> and this beautiful dream has come true with the blessings of her parents and grandparents and with the hardship of the training given by guru shrimati meghana and it is said that with wonderful musicians half the war is won always my guru maya rao maya didi used to tell this if you have wonderful musicians half the war is already won and such wonderful vocal support by rohit and such a wonderful percussion lead by shri harsha samaga sir and everything was the sanchari especially came out so lively with vivek and natraj sir's wonderful flute and violin didn't you all realize that we were in the gandharva loka and to back up with that a gandharva loka was here with shrimati ashwini's wonderful stage setup and brilliant lighting by shri surya narayan rao everything i think megana has organized so well that this little child harshita's program should be a wonderful and a beautiful program if i say this i think all of you will appreciate myself and chandraprabha wish harshita and bless her that let her flourish in this dance field and i request her parents to allow her to grow in this wonderful art form with their blessings too and congratulation megna for putting up such a wonderful show and with your support harshita will blossom as a wonderful dancer and i thank harshita's parents and megna for inviting us for such a wonderful program as you rightly said sir we indeed are in gandharva loka thank you so much for your encouraging words indeed your blessings are always needed i now request shri subhash govind rajan sir to please share his thoughts with us anaivarkum iniya maalai vanakkam it's my privilege and honor to be here today to witness the elegance of a classical form of dance bharatanatyam arguably the oldest and most comprehensive dance system in the world I want to take a moment to congratulate harshita for an inspiring performance that showed her love for dance and her desire to perfect this form of art my congratulations to shrimati chitra shri kartikeyan guru shrimati meghna and all the distinguished artists who have made this evening a very very special one harshita you dance gracefully 
and you have added new meaning to performance. I want to wish you the best in anything you do and everything you do. Congrats once again on the Arangetram. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind and inspirational words. I would now request Srimati Mahalakshmi Kumar, ma'am, to speak a few words. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. It's indeed an honor to be here this wonderful evening to see one more of our beautiful children on stage. That's the blessings of Dr. Mrs. Y.G. Parsati who always wanted to encourage Indian culture and this is what I am sure she is watching from wherever. Harshita is extremely graceful and her performance this evening was mesmerizing. Nothing is possible without the fantastic support of her family. And I'm, I'm so overwhelmed to see, I believe, close to a hundred odd family members who have gathered here uh, from Tamil Nadu, I'm sure, to encourage Harshita and to be part of this beautiful celebration. As rightly said by the earlier speakers, any form of Indian art is like a meditation. And we at our school believe in it totally. Right from the shlokas we begin the day with, to yoga, to dance, to meditation, name it and it's all done. And every single child enjoys participation. But there are only a few handpicked, as rightly said, who would want to take this forward in its purest form, and Harshita is one. She is not only a very bright student, extremely committed to what she's doing at school, but she can see that she has given in her entire energy and passion towards bringing this evening, this Arangetram into something so flawless. So the first half was mesmerizing. I'm looking forward to the second half as well. Lot of blessings to Harshita and all the family. And thank you, dear friends on stage. I must definitely congratulate her guru, Mrs. Meghna, and the ensemble of stunning musicians who backed up and gave so much of life to this wonderful performance. Thank you so much. Shri Guru Bhyonama. Thank you, ma'am, for blessing Arshita. Indeed, it is great to know that every child, including Arshita, is so well taken care of at the school. Harshita definitely has a strong foundation under your able leadership. Thank you once again, ma'am. I now kindly request the chief guests to come and watch the next dance performances followed by Harshita with us. Please, ma'am. Please, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Harshita will continue her rendition with Kavadi Chindu. Kavadi in Tamil means carrying weight on your shoulder. It symbolizes the burden of carrying two hills by Idumban. It is an offering to Bhagawan Muruga by carrying the Kavadi and walking long journeys from their village to the famous Murugan temple situated in Palani. It is believed that the burden in a life of a devotee who carries Kavadi is reduced by Muruga. It is carried during Thai Masam Pusa Nakshatra, which is considered auspicious. This is also a very well known folk tradition of Tamil Nadu, representing the devotion and simplicity of their lives. Kavadi Chindu is the dance performed during this occasion. 
Harshita will perform in Ragam Sindhu set to Adi Talam Trishanadai. This is a composition of Shri Periya Sami Turan.
வாயில் மீதில் ஏறி அவினன் கூடியில் தோன்றும் நிலவாயில் மீதில் ஏறி அவினன் கூடியில் தோன்றும் நிமல நாம் கூழந்தை முருகே செல்ல அன்பு செய்திடும் அடியர் யாரையும் காத்து நின்றிடும் நீங்கள் அந்தலில் அன்பு செய்திடும் அடியர் யாரையும் காத்து நின்றிடும் நித்திய ஜோதி வடிவாமாம் பிரகாசம் தூரம் நெஞ்ச நீங்காதென்றும் அங்கு வாத்திய ஜோதி வடிவாமாம் பிரகாசம் தூரம் நெஞ்ச நீங்காதென்றும் அங்கு The next number is a very special piece for Nrityanadam since the lyrics of this song is written by Kumari Mahati a student of Nrityanadam and is written in Sanskrit The story explained in this dance takes us to Mahabharata and the time of Agyatavasam where Pandavas are in exile and their identity is not to be revealed They stay at Virata Raja's kingdom The protagonist of this song is Arjuna. Arjuna during Agyatavasam is in Brihannala Vesham, half man, half woman. He is a dance and veena teacher to the princess of Virata named Uttara. While he teaches dance and veena to Uttara, he is fondly reminded of his wife Draupadi. He dreams of the days he spent with Draupadi and the love and bondage that they both share which is always cherished by him. Draupadi during Agyatavasam disguises herself to be the beautician to the queen of Virata Desham. There is a story of Draupadi while dressing the hair of the queen spots Arjuna. They both meet though only for a few minutes of cherished meeting. This unique item describes the fondness of Draupadi and Arjuna. This is in Ragam Amrita Varshani set to Adi Talam. Lyrics written by Kumari Mahati. The song is set to tune by Shri Rohit Bhatt. The concept and choreography is by Shrimati Meghna Venkat. I invite Kumari Mahati to speak a few words on what went behind in writing this song. Kumari Mahati. Namaste. I thank Meghna Ma'am for thinking about me and asking me to write this padam. Meghna Ma'am is very close to my heart and I spent many hours in her house chatting about various topics from the Mahabharata to Sanatana Dharma. Ma'am then asked me to write this song for Harshita and I was elated to write it for my best friend. I would like to explain to you where I found my references and inspiration for the song. It mainly comes from the epic itself and also the Garuda and the Padma Puranas. Panchala Prakasini is an original phrase curated by me inspired from the Adi Parva of Mahabharata where Draupadi is described as the light provided to the kingdom of Panchala. Parshati is the matronym 
given to Draupadi from her mother's name, Prishati Maharani, which is from the Swayamvara Parva. She is also called Pandava Hridayeshwari from the Vaivahika Parva, where she is addressed as the ruler of Pandavas's heart. Harivamsa also extensively refers Draupadi and as Krishna's and Satyabhama's closest friend, much like Arjuna. And hence, the name Keshava Priyasaki and Satyabhama Priya Maitrini were developed. She is described as the crown jewel of Somaka's clan in the Dyuta Parva by Yudhishthira himself and is also addressed as Agni Rupa Sahodari in the Sambhava Parva and the Garuda Puranas, which means she is Drishtadyumna's sister who is Agni Deva's incarnation himself. Sachi Swarupini, she is addressed in the Garuda Purana, Padma Purana, meaning the incarnation of Sachi Devi, while Anudhyuta Parva refers to her as Sri, which means radiance and hence Swarga's radiance, Swarga Sri Sachi. Kunti Sukha Karinyai is inspired from the Bhagavad Yana Parva in Yudhyoga Parva of Mahabharata, where Kunti Devi herself elaborates that Draupadi is like her very own daughter. Mahabharata also calls her as Dharma Vijayeshwari, Dharma Mai and Dharma Rakshini, the protectress of righteousness. I am indeed honored that Harshita is dancing for this item today. Thank you very much Meghna ma'am for this wonderful opportunity.
ಇಂದ್ರಪ್ರಸ್ಥ ನಾಯಕಿ accompanying on the rhythm paths he is a final musician to be introduced for this evening but is the most effective with very efficient and time synchronized sound effects which has made the program more lighter shri dhanush natampalli hails from a richly cultured and traditional family from bangalore seeing the keen interest shown by the barely 2 year old dhanush in rhythm and percussion his grandmother Karnataka Kalashri Shrimati Ranganayaki Rajan who is an A graded artist in vocal and rudangam started training him in rudangam what began as a rhythmic rendezvous on the dining table with spoons and spatulas between the grandmom and the grandson 
soon took a serious turn towards formal learning. Dhanush started his Mridangam training under Vidwan Guru S.V. Giridhar, who contributed to him greatly. His online training from Sri Mela Kaveri Balaji opened up ideas for performing during vocal and dance concerts. Currently, he is being mentored by Guru T.S. Chandrasekhar in the nuances. He has provided Mridangam and Rhythm Paths accompaniment for senior dancers and gurus like Guru G.S. Raja Lakshmi, Guru Ranjani Ganesan, Guru Vinita Subramanyam USA, Dr. Vasant Kiran, Sri Mitun Sham, Guru Gita Lakshmi, Guru Sri Devi Jagannath USA, Guru Padma Sonti USA, and his mother, Guru Rohini Anand UAE, to name a few. During the years, he has had the privilege to perform solo concerts as well as group Talavadya Kacheris. Being a member of a band named Magic, he has performed at several prestigious platforms and showcased his drumming talents. As a child artist, Dhanush has appeared in advertisement films, documentaries, and feature films. Balancing his career and passion for music, Dhanush is slowly etching a mark and carving a niche for himself in his artistic journey. Incidentally, he is also a motorbike race racer presenting Karnataka State. Thank you for being an inspiration to us youngsters. It's an honor to have you with us today. Harshita will conclude her Arangetram recital with a Tillana. Tillana is when the dancer explores the limits of powerful kinetics. To achieve the distinct performance charm associated with this technique, one must possess exceptional rhythmic timing and synchronization skills. It usually serves as a Bharatanatyam performance's climax. Tillana combines graceful body motions with some aspects of Abhinaya. Tillana is also referred to as Mokshanritta, which refers to the dance piece that bestows the highest degree of blissfulness on a dancer, not because the dancer is about to complete the performance, but rather because the dancer has performed the entire piece with intense focus and unwavering mind and the joy of being able to move her body in space in harmony with the rhythm and lyrics. This Tillana Harshita is going to perform is in Surya Ragam, set to Mishra Chaputalam, a composition of Sri Prasanna Kumar and dance choreographed by Srimadhi Mekna Venkat. This will be followed by Mangalam in praise of Sri Hanumanta, a composition of Mysore Sri Ganapati Satchidananda Swamiji.
ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಲಲಿತೆ ಮಹೋನತೆ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಲಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಲಲಿತೆ ಮಹೋನತೆ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಲಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪಿಣಿ ಲಲಿತೆ ಮಹೋನತೆ I am sure it was an enriching evening for all of us with the air filled with pleasant sounds of gejje and mellifluous music. I thank you all once again for staying back and blessing Arshita. I now request Srimanthi Meghna Venkat ma'am to speak few words on this whole process culminating in this Arangetram. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. 
At the onset, I thank the esteemed chief guest for being present here today, in spite of your very busy schedule. I also thank all of you present here today for sharing our joy. This day is a dream come true for Harshita and her family. I am so glad I have been part of their dream day. For me, it is a day of fulfillment of an ambition which was seeded in my mind when I was 12 years old. The ambition to be able to make a student of mine to perform on stage. And that too for a standing ovation today. It is a day of responsibility on me to deliver the best. It is a day of sharing my life lessons with Harshita. I am so proud of Harshita that she has worked so hard to get here and she proved herself to be a perfectionist. Harshita has always grown, shown great dedication and hard work on whatever she embarks on. She is not a person who finds an excuse to complete a target. She works towards it and being intelligent and capable of achieving, success comes her way. Maybe waking up in the morning, early morning, is her only biggest target she is unable to meet yet. In fact, there are days when I have told her, take a break, but she sits on my head even then. Such is her dedication. Her parents, who also are achievers in their life, reflects on Harshita and her brother Ashwat. Both of them are cultured and obedient, yet unseemingly naughty in their own ways. I congratulate the family for such a good upbringing. When I started selecting the songs for her, I wanted to showcase her talent to the full capacity. Hence, the songs you have witnessed today is not very common in an Arangetram program. And some of them are truly unique even for a seasoned program. And I was sure she will prove me right. And today, I can proudly say this. I'm I must thank the musicians for their complete support, without whom I think the show could have not been possible. Rohit but composed beautiful songs for the show. Harsha sir has said brilliant jatis, Vivek and Natraj sir scintillating melody and Danush's timely effects has definitely raised the benchmark of the program. Thank you so much. Their experience and mastery over the art form proved it helpful for the show. Thank you for being what you are. <laughs> Surya, a multi-talented person whom I know for more than a decade now, has always supported me in so many ways and today is no exception. Thank you, Surya, for being here with your unsurpassed light design. Nadam Vidhyalaya is the backbone of today's function. Without these pillars, the function would have not been possible. I thank the parents of my children to have adopted me as a second parent to their ward. I thank for their presence, their support, trust and encouragement. Some of them, some of my students have travelled from out of the station to witness this program and I can't thank you enough. You have really made me so happy. Thank you. The pretty girls who did the comparing today and the students who performed all the backstage activities were truly splendid. Thank you so much, girls. My parents are my substratum. They have been there for me always. I hope I make them proud every day. My brother is the reason I took dancing as a career. It was my family's guidance and encouragement. And today is no exception. My father, who has been the official event manager for this show, 
looking into the microscopic details was totally helpful for all of us. My mother, who is the unofficial guide to my father, don't scold me for revealing this, <laughs> has insistently worked day in and day out. It's never, most times, greatest battles are with the closest people. You know whom I'm mentioning about. My better half, Gokula Krishnan. who has been my constant energy and support. We hardly get time to talk to each other. During the day, he is working. In the evening, I am working. It's not easy to come home every single day to a house filled with children, noisy children, and enter the home in that scenario. I really appreciate him for putting up with me and my children in their class. It's never easy for a child to see the mother busy with her own work and travel. I adore you, my son, for respecting my time and being very understanding. I treasure you, dear Rishikesh. I also thank my in-laws for being present here with their full support to me and encouraging me throughout. I'm incomplete without my gurus and mentors. I'm thankful to Adya Lakshman sir, Shijit Nambiar, Parvati Menon and many other mentors who have shaped me for what I am today. Thank you. I surrender and devote all this to God and I hope he carries me in the right direction and hope he makes me a good instrument who can be helpful to this world. Dhanyavada. I would like to present Harshita with a small gift from my side. Thank you, dear, for making me smile and with pride. Today, she is my student, but tomorrow I want to be mentioned as her guru. Magan Tandai Katrum Udavi, even Tandai Ennotran Kol Yenum Sol. I want to be true to this Tirukural. I also request Hashwath to please come on to the stage. Kumari Harshita would also like to speak a few words to you all. Harshita, please come and share your thoughts on this day. I am sure it has been an impactful journey for you so far. Harshita? Namaste. Uh, good evening to everyone present here. Today has been a very, very memorable, unforget unforgettable and very special day for me. From the time we decided to do my Arangetram about nine months ago until now, every moment has been very precious and I would always want to carry forward this with me forever. The last few months has been quite a tough time for me to manage both school and dance, but thanks a lot to all those who stayed by my side 
and supported me and encouraged me throughout. To start with my gurus, Srimati Meghna Venkat Ma'am and Srimati Rani Nistala Ma'am, they have been the pillars throughout my journey to this stage. Without them, nothing would have been possible today. But more than a teacher, I look at Meghna Ma'am as a friend with whom I share anything and everything. She has been very understanding, caring, loving and patient with me. I am very, very grateful and so happy to have got her as my teacher. I had the best times with her for the last few months where I had so much fun with her and we used to talk so much. And talking with her made me forget all my worries and boosted me with enthusiasm and confidence. I can never thank her enough for all her time and dedication towards making this event a wonderful one. Uh, I would like to give her a small gift uh, which I got from my first salary. Uh, I got this from Meghna Mam itself by taking classes for juniors. So for everyone, um, uh, for everyone, their first salary is very close and what they get from that is always uh, unforgettable. So I got a small gift for her from my uh, first salary. Uh, next, Meghna Ma'am's family. I used to go to her house at very odd times for practice, but uh, her son, very young, but very understanding. He was an uh, even uncle. They always used to be with me, support me, and they used to understand whenever I come, and they always used to adjust. So thank you so much, Rishikesh and Gokul uncle. Uh, a small gift for them as well. Next, coming to my parents, I'm so thankful for the amount of hard work and tireless effort they've put for this. In the last few months, they have been more busy than me. My job was just dancing today, but they had to take care of all the arrangements and do so much more. My mom, who was always with me, constantly giving her love and taking care of me so well, even though I often threw tantrums, tantrums at her. And my dad, who did so much from the starting for all the arrangements and making sure every would everything would go smoothly today. Both of them haven't rested for the last few minutes. I love you so much, Amma and Appa. Uh, thanks to my grandparents who came early and gave their support and took care of me so well. Thanks to my dear friends who always supported and motivated me and my dear friends of Nitya Nadam who helped everything happen today. Thanks to the chief guests who took their time today beside their, uh, despite their busy schedules to bless me today. Thanks to the Almighty for uh, uh, making everything happen today. Thanks to everyone who came for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, Harshita. Indeed, very thoughtful and kind of you. I now request Sri Karthikeyan, the Karyakarta of this evening, to please present the vote of thanks. It's a great pleasure to see you all uh, for our daughter's Bharatanatyam Arangetram today. Uh, my college friends, I think they are in the balcony, they, they know that I won't let them go if I have a mic and ask them to talk. <laughs> but this time, I need to follow uh, strictly my wife's instruction. <laughs> she wanted to kind of make it short and sweet. I'm trying. Um, so I will try to thank all within the given time frame. Please forgive me if we uh, miss uh, anyone. To start with, uh, we would like to... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, we would like to express our sincere thanks to our honorable chief guest, uh, Vidwan uh, Chetan Gangatkar and Chandra Prabha Chetan, artistic directors, uh, Natya Ninada Nithalaya Bangalore. Honestly, we admire your energy, energy level that you have, you both have 
and passing on to the next generation through this Indian classical dance. With this whole exercise, we truly understand the benefits of Indian classical dance and how it helps us to teach the essential life skills of discipline, patience, and determinations. And thanks for both of your presence to grace these occasions. Hope our child puts her uh, best efforts to make you happy. Uh, next, I would like to thank uh, Sri Shubhash Govindarajan, Senior Director and uh, Silicon Site at Google Bangalore, who came uh, during the challenging product airport schedules. And <laughs> he has great passion in Tamil literature and the preserving nature. Shubhas and his family make a mini forest kind of a garden in their house with a lot of herbals and a lot of animal pets. We were able to recollect the Thirukural, which we used to miss or ignore in our busy life schedules. I would like to read it in Tamil. Pahutundu palluyur ombudal nulor, tohutra vattul ellam talai. That means sharing food and taking care of all the living things in this planet is the greatest thing to do for the human being. So thanks for remaining this with your lifestyle which I see, you know, when we come and uh, meet you there. And thanks again for your valuable presence in this function to place our uh, child. So we would like to thank uh, Srimadhi Mahalashmi Kumar, Principal, PSBB LLA, Bangalore, who makes their presence during the board exam time. We really thank you, ma'am. And uh, all teachers who are all supporting and encouraging the students on Indian traditional-based co-curricular activities to reach their max potential. As told by Dr. Radha Krishnan, Asriyar Paniye Arapani, Adirke Unai Arpani. Your efforts of enabling the next generation responsible citizen to this society is greatly appreciated. As a parent, very thank you very much uh, for your efforts and your support. We we'll still remember the Bharatanatyam dance program conducted at PSBB LLA at 2011, where my daughter is, where our daughter is participated when she was at nursery. We strongly believe that could be the starting trigger for, a, uh, for our daughter's dance effort. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am, for your valuable uh, presence in this event. It's a real motivation for all the students. We would like to thank the grateful musicians uh, who made their magical vibrations with the live sessions. It's a divine feeling that uh, the entire audience would have felt and enjoyed this evening. We express our heartful thanks to all of them. We, then uh, we would like to uh, express our sincere thanks to Srimadhi Rani Nislam, uh, Veena Guru for uh, Harshida, both Carnatic Music and Veena Training for last uh, nine plus years. Thank you very much, ma'am. Again, no words to thank uh, Srimadhi uh, Meghana Venkat, our guru, who has been the backbone of this entire event, who took care of each and everything needed for this uh, program. We really admired with her talent, dedication and efforts that she has put together to make this event evergreen memorable. We are so blessed to have uh, Srimadhi Meghana Venkat and Rani Nislam ma'am, both as guru for our child and wish Harshida to have continuous learning from you always. Thank you once again. <laughs> Next, our parents who are the basement for us. Without them, we can't uh, stand here. And they came earlier for the function and provided all the required uh, moral support. Though we grew up, Having them next to us, it makes a great feel and confidence that I would be able to feel always when they stand next to me. And both my in-laws and parents both. <laughs> also, we will feel proud of our siblings and cousins who are all there with us always and proving the famous Tamil proverb, Tambi Udayan Padaki Anjan. So it means if you have a siblings and brothers, you can face anything in this world. It's a great feeling to have all of our relatives and family friends who came all over from Tamil Nadu and our Chitapa family from Singapore. They made the house more vibrant for the last few days, the, the day from they arrived here. Thank you all. <laughs> Thanks to our Himagri friends and our colorful neighbors who came and made the event more beautiful. Thanks for all your consistent support for Harshida. Uh, from her childhood. You all see them uh, grow how from her uh, childhood. Our special thanks to our childhood friends, school friends, college friends, and friends across my different companies that I have worked before. It's a pleasure moment for us to meet and greet all of you after a long time. And my special thanks to Hashida's friends.
who are who are the backbone for her uh, you know all of the strength thank you very much and your families who joined uh, with us today uh, i would like to extend our sincere thanks to all the back end supporters for making us comfortable and enjoyable this evening then i would like to thank uh, sri venkat sir magnas ma'am uh, father who took care of the event management your expertise and inputs are valuable thank you very much sir i want to see him but i may be busy, busy outside i guess also uh, gogol and uh, master rishi magna ma'am's family who provide their full support throughout this tenure thank you so much our sincere thanks to the entire uh, nirtya nadam vidyalaya family who takes care of the comparing and mc activities thank you all you are all rocked like a professional mcs and thank you nitya nadam uh, nitya nadam vidyalaya students and their family who joined us today we feel happy that harshida took care of uh, both uh, her final exams and dance practice together to deliver her max potential effort <laughs> our son ashwat who understand us because we didn't bother him for last few months <laughs> and uh, you know uh, whenever you know wherever we want we used to go and we let him alone there and uh, thanks ashwat to understand us in this critical uh, time and you know we will kind of from next uh, you know from today night onwards we will kind of uh, take care of you really well <laughs> then thanks to god the almighty who enabled and blessed us to take up our daughter's bharatanatyam arangetram on behalf of our entire family thank you all once again to make your valuable presence and grace the occasion please request to join all of us uh, dinner with us as a proud parent we are signing off from today's event thanks one and all harshita would like to give a token of appreciation to the comparing girls today shrimati rohini Shrimati Rohini is a storyteller, singer, and a dancer. Kumari Niharika. Kumari Mahati. Mahati is the person who wrote the song Padam song. A very very talented girl. and actually gifted <laughs> kumari akanksha my very first student who traveled from manipal to come here hey shrimati indu with with her precious son vikram she has also traveled all the way from pudukottai to attend this program seven months old baby <laughs> thank you so much kumari gyanada Kumari Amrita Ganada is very devoted and uh, blessed child Amrita I met her recently and she is now part of Nrithya Natham My humble gratitude and surrender to God for making this day very special and blessing us all I want to thank everyone once again Please stay and join us for the sumptuous dinner before returning home. Dhanyavadagalu, shubham bhuyat, swasti. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.